five steps is the necessary step for Qigong practice. If you, if you understand these five steps, I don't care any style of Qigong, just understand these five. You got a key. You really got a key. If this is not in that important, I wouldn't spend one, 120 pages to write these five things in one chapter. <coughs> I won't do that. Because those are important. That's the key of training. All right? Now, we still have 10 minutes. Let's talk about Mel Washington. And the, what's, yes. What's the last one? Your... Towson Spirit. <coughs> Towson is so important. Spirit is so important. As I said, your spirit control, you want to be alive or you want to be dead. Two patients, all right. one patient, two patients have the exactly the same symptom. They're going to die. The doctor said, they have to die. One patient said, no, I'm going to die because I have something to do. I don't can die. The other said, uh, I have to die. I have to die. This guy died, this guy survived. Have you noticed know the willpower? Where did they come from? People say, oh, you put me in the desert. Three days I die of starvation, die of thirst. After you dump the to desert, two weeks later you're still alive. That's with your mind. You're thinking. You're, once you're thinking, this one's spirit can energize. Spirit is most important. This one is called the headquarters of your chi. Okay. Chinese they call yi shen yu qi. All these are secret words in Chinese poetry. Use your spirit to yu, like you ride a horse, qi. Because you have to use a spirit in order to control your qi. How come you don't use your mind? Because mind is only a beginning. The mind and the spirit cannot be separated. How do you raise up your spirit? You have to think first, right? If you don't think, you don't have that idea, how can you raise up your spirit? You can't. So eventually, that's the same thing. Get more and more confused. All right, let's talk about Mirawashi. All right. That's on purpose to make you confused. So you have to buy my book. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> I'm only joking because I, I can I can breathe in the two and a half hours what I said a lot of you can understand that's very really good that's very really good okay in the qigong exercise there are two considered very important one is called muscle change the other one is the metal. Washington. Now, they're both of them considered written by Dhamma. Muscle tendon. What's that? It's a physical muscle tendon. So, in the muscle tendons, <coughs> each and each, they're divided into two parts. One part they call white tendon, called external elixir. The other one is the Nathan. <coughs> Nathan. That's an internal elixir. So what I have is some external exercise. It's a very simple exercise. For example, the first exercise is just inhale and exhale. Think of it, push down and relax. Inhale and exhale. The mind concentrate. You do it about 50 times. Then go to the second one without stop. Think like that. And inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Then the third one start going here, force, lift, going up, for it. There are 12, 12 forms. But it's not only that. When you read the man book, you understand there are a lot more other than this form. But those 12 forms is the basic form. When you do that, you build a chi here, you build a chi here, then build up, up here until the body. This one to strengthen your limbs, but that's not enough. Wait, so the white line, you drop the chi on your limbs, your leg, 
but your, your arms and legs, and then the chi comes to nourish your organs. This is from outside in. That's called white time. You build the chi here and here and here, and then come into your organs. But when you build the chi into the vessel, into the center, then come to the outside. It's called nei time. It's very simple to classify. People always get confused. Okay. So when you get a nei time, I'm more emphasize only two vessels. Remember I said the vessel is so important. Because that's like a reservoir. The reservoir, the reservoir is to regulate the chi. If the reservoir chi is low, then you cannot regulate it. Because then the chi secretion in the in the channel will be weak. So this one, the Nei Dan, they emphasize conceptional and the governing vessel. Only two. This vessel and this vessel. That's in that morning, Yi Jing Jing explained. So what does Yi Jing Jing do? As I say, you go to conception vessel, garment vessel. Conception vessel, you deal with the six in organs, channels. These are six young channels. So what they emphasize, emphasize is the physical body. Not only the limbs, it includes the organs, because it's the organs. So what you emphasize is the physical body. And say it's physical body. It's very important, this physical body is this one. When you go to here, it's not. All right, let's talk about Meryl Washington. <coughs> Meryl Washington is not that easy. People say Meryl Washington is that crazy, it's a sexual, it's a sex book. It is a sex book. How many of you think about sex is a dirty? You think about sex dirty when you get married. You think sex is dirty where you come from. Our sex is not dirty. It's a natural animal instinct. I don't say human instinct, I say animal instinct. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's the Yi Jing Jing try to do? That's a, a body. That's a hair of nose. <laughs> that's a, that's a, it's a process. <laughs> okay. The male watch is very important. <coughs> because you understand, this one called Mason, called internal kidney. There's an two kidneys. In Chinese medicine, consider four kidneys, your body. So these are two kidneys con to conserve, with contain your original essence. There's another two, two kidneys contain your essence. Where are they? The guy is testicles. The girl is, uh, the girl is ovary. So the guy is this one, these two called testicles, called white essence. This all saw the original essence. What the male watching is go to here, it's not go to here. See, the male watching he tried to do, she sway. That sway includes two. The first one called cool sway, is male. The second one is now sway, is your brain. So male watching is male watching, watching your male and also watch your brain. So that's why they have a process. They say, huan jing bu nao, huan. That means return your essence to nourish your brain. Use this one to nourish your brain. How can you do that? All right, let's talk about this now. First things. Midnight, your chi is over here. It started circulate, 8 o'clock, your temple. Going down, 12 o'clock, your solar presses. Going down, when sunset, come here. Then the back evening times come back here. It's not only that. Once the evening time come up here, after 12 o'clock, this place and this place connected. All midnight, this one and this one, all these two cavities back at the same time. That's why in the midnight, when you sleep, your brain get clear because that path is opening up. It's not only that, once it comes 12 o'clock, how many guys, once you wake up in the midnight, this place gets sleep? <laughs> you don't raise your hand <laughs> It's not only <like> that. <laughs> you can check the kids. I have two boys. In the midnight, taking them out, asking them to go take a leak. 
cash is thief. <laughs> but how can they have a sex idea? They don't have any sex idea. But how you this place gets thief in, the, in my night time? Do you have a sex idea when you wake up? He didn't. What happened? Have you ever thought about that? How come Mary Washington has to be trained after the talk, 12 o'clock midnight? Because your energy coming here, 12 o'clock, this is natural chi circulation, nourish the testicles. When the energy here energizes the testicles, then this production, hormone production generated. The hormone production. The hormone makes it stiff. So when this one stiff, what happened? There's a time you relax. All the chi here continue, nourish you know, these two vessels. We're talking vessels. This is in jiao mai. So, one of the poetry in the Mary Washington, they call Yin Jiao Mai San Qi Mong Mong. We're talking about the poetry, which I analyzed why the poetry written a thousand years ago. They were. Yin Jiao Mai, these two, it's in the midnight, after midnight. Yin Jiao Mai, these two vessels. The Qi is moisty, how to say it. Mong Mong, how to say it. Like a foggy, like a fog, thick fog, and so many, there's so much there. Then the second secret was I forgot. He said, you had to learn how to use this chi to bring up to nourish your brain. Because you understand, every time chi come here, convert it from here, if you have the here. That's one thing. <coughs> how many guys? I don't know how many of you, okay? That's your secret. But we won't get in here. How many guys after three, four, three, four battles at night, and you still can stand up very strong or he got his sword? Uh, after, after you do it three, four times in the night, you lose all the essence. It's not that. Every time you get it, the chi come out with it. That's why I say girls always winning. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> the guy is always losing, the girl also get it. That's why they, they, they get an average age top higher than the men. Because men got more torture in many ways. But anyway, <laughs> that's the first thing. <laughs> So that's what happens is that when you have over sex, you over you know, abuse your sex. The first thing you lose, your legs couldn't have a strong leg. But people that have a lot of sex, usually the, the legs are weak. Why? Because these vessels, they are in jiao mai, in wei mai, yang jiao mai, yang wei mai. These four vessels supposed to hold in your legs, support your legs, chi circulation, in order to keep you strong. You understand, there's no vessel on your hands. But how come there are four vessels on your legs? Do you understand? That's because you walk. In ancient time, you always walk. Only until nowadays, last 40 years, the human being still keeps sitting in the car. <laughs> the human leg becomes like a chicken leg now. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to the country, they don't have a car so convenient. You find everybody's legs so strong. That's because only until now, human beings start to get rid of the walking exercise. Otherwise, in ancient time, every day you walk. So the more you walk, then the legs develop the vessels there in order to regulate support the chi there. That's an evolution. But your hands don't do that much. So the hands, you don't have vessels so far. From a, a vessel, you don't have that. So you have four vessels on the leg. You have one vessel here. You have one vessel go to here called Chongmai. Then you have this one, this one. So you have eight vessels. Totally you have eight vessels. <coughs> all right? Now, you get it all. You're getting older and older and older. The first thing you say is, oh, I couldn't have sex tonight. I lost it. I cannot have it because it won't stick up. <laughs> <laughs> all right? Because we don't have kids today, so I don't care. All right? Because if you want to read my book, you will say, this is a sex book. <laughs> <laughs> when you read Mother Gia's book called uh, The Secret Love of Love the Love of How many of you have that book? Do you, do you read that book? Is considered as a sex book? No. It's not, right? It's a scientific book. Because it's a science. That's why at the beginning I already told you. The sex activity is normal. It's not dirty. If you're dirty, you think that's dirty. Where you come from? Give me the answer. You can tell me that. Then I say, okay. I'm, I agree, I'm wrong. Okay. When you get old, you find the first thing you lose that kind of sex activity, capabilities. That's probably that's the first symptom you're getting old. Because you understand, because here, according to the A vessel, you read the A vessels, this 
vessels here connected to you and nourish your brain, go to Chongmai, go to your brain. This is all one line. When this part is strong, your brain is clear. What's the first symptom of the old people get aged? They find out they lost, they, they get aged. They lost memory. When you get memory, that means you don't have enough energy to support that. That energy is not come from the kidney here, it's come from your testicles. So you see the people they live 18, 90 years so they still have sex. They live a long time. What's the mirror washing they do? The first thing is how do I play around with that? Stimulate it to increase the hormone production. But it's after you increase hormone production, then your mind becomes dirty. <laughs> because you want to have sex. Because what I do, you do is increase the hormone production, then you become horny. <laughs> Well, that's exactly, Mother Jill's book he wrote it, tell you how to deal with that part. But he didn't tell you how to, how to use it. <laughs> that's why enough, a lot of people, they train from his book. They, they see a lot of Chinese doctor, that's why doctor, doctor. In the evening they see it come out, the sperm come out. They can't help, it keep coming out. Because it's overfilled up, over flooded, the mic cannot control. Because it's supposed to Lian Jing Hua Qi. Okay, that's a, the words. Lian Jing Hua Qi. <coughs> that means train your essence and to convert it into your Qi. Then Lian Qi Hua Shen. Lian Qi Hua Shen. Yeah, use your Qi to nourish your spirit, your brain. He lost this process. And that was the last, last process. Lian Shen Liao Xing. Lian Shen Liao Xing. That's why I reach enlightenment. You try to purify, train your spirit in order to end the human nature. What's the human nature? Get rid of your human emotional feeling. That's why you can reach Buddha. I believe you don't want to that, but you want to get here. When you get here, you have a long life. But sometimes you have an emotion like that's a cheap one. So you understand what they try to train is how do you get this place converted and try to nourish it and go up. In order to, to bring the chi up to your brain, there's a one funny exercise. You know that? It's the boss girl and the guys. There's a test call, you have to tie it up with a the weight there and hang it. <laughs> <laughs> What? Yeah. Because when you hang it, you string it. That's why you have to use your body's mind to pick it up, to hold it up. The heavier you get, the more stronger your cheek can bring up to the But that's exercise. The girls also do it too. The girls, they design this way. And then they tie up here with a weight. They can hold it there. That's, the girl can also get up. Manda Jia has an exercise, has a seminar last year in New York. He got 98 students. For same it's six hundred fifty dollars for one week, five days. Inside, of forty-eight people come from Europe. Because two of my students went, one girl, one guy. And I asked him, say, you guys read everybody naked and string it. They told me yes, but separate. The girls is one room, the guys one room. But then you have a you, you have a towel. You have a towel. They sell you things. You hang there, and you have a towel. You can cover. It. So you just practice over there one week. But if you don't understand the mirror washing, you know this thing. There's a wheel. But you understand what you're doing. There is no wheel. That's exactly in ancient China. How come the mirror washing this process got to pass down only a few secret students? The first one gets sex and love. It's not really sex, sex, but it's again involved with sex always. Because that's where the chi comes from, includes the girl. So the instructor, the master, can pass down only a few good students, only they understand. It's not only that, it takes a long time to train. For example, the first process, Lin Jing Hua Chi, will take you 100 days, no sex. That's why I tell you, you're going to divorce your wife first before you can <laughs> 
<laughs> Did you say that before? This afternoon I said, you got to divorce your wife first before you train it. And you told me you can do it without. But it's not easy. That's why the, the people they reach the enlightenment, they get leave all. Those people are hermit. And they leave the mountain. That's also another reason why a lot of monks, the Taoists and priests, they don't have a sex desire. Because what happens? They all live up to here. They burn it up. They use it so you don't accumulate. So at the same time, they want to increase the hormone generation. In the same time, they use their hormone to nourish their brain. So that's why the brain, because when you nourish your brain, your energy, your brain like a computer, the more energy you can bring in, the more you can energize. You can make more cell use it, the more you can concentrate. That's why it becomes the end. It's a whole brain become like a, the battery, big battery. So when they meditate, the heralds come out shining. That's for real enlightenment. When you get that one, that means your body's brainwave band widen because you can sense all kind of energy. That's why they can read your mind. They can sense. That's why body can move. The energy can move out away from the body, become the Buddha. You get lost? <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The first process of saying 100 days, no sex. Uh, the, is that the same as, you mean like no orgasm or, or no sex? Is that the... <laughs> <laughs> Just no sex. No orgasm, no, no sex. Just no sex. <laughs> <laughs> because every time you say, people, some people argue. Because uh, I, there are some people, they train, they argue. They say, when you have sex, just don't admit it. Don't, don't inject. Because every time you inject, all the chi go with it. Okay. You can pure a lot of chi, you can emit it, and then all the chi come out. The girl simply take it. Okay, simply the girl is like a negative. The guy is positive, flowing right away. That's why after the sex, the girl they don't feel tired. The guys feel so tired. Okay. But you, you understand? But that one is people saying it. But I tell you, it's not that. When you raise up, when you once you get a step, that means your energy is up. The girl's energy is still low. Unless you know how to make the girl's energy higher than you, then you nourish you. That's Manta Chia's book. I didn't teach that, he teached that. Well, they had to use the girl's energy to nourish you. You had to use young girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but the, for the, for the Meryl Washington, originally I didn't, I didn't intend, intend to, to, to talk about that much. Because uh, some of you might still have conservative mind. They say, gosh, Mr. Young is a sexual guy as well. He's a dirty guy. Okay. Talk to you, my wife. <laughs> okay, we finished it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> See, I destroyed, I destroyed all the clues. <laughs> Among the negative, there's a positive. So the negative, you open it, then it becomes positive, becomes sparking. Because it's not connected, the chi is not smooth circuit. So I thought you saw it's important. The whole thing is in secret. That's what they call secret soul hand. Okay. So secret soul hands. So this hand you touch it. So the negative come here. There are four channels coming here. There are two channels going out. In these two channels, one is pericardium. Pericardium is the strongest one. That's the one they use for cavity press. That's the one they can eat. Because that's a chi you can shock on enemies. So the secret hand is when you have a chi circuit, that's a, the soul is so called among the negative, then the positive. Um, there's a positive. So the, the power is come from this way. Okay. So the chi coming this way. So we have this way and this thing coming up. So this thing when you hold, when you hold the sword, you couldn't hold this way. If you hold this way, the chi coming this way, it don't go out to the sword. So the sword, this finger has to be loose. When this hand's finger is loose, then it becomes there's a hole there or a door, then the cheek coming out this way. So when you hold, it's very loose. You cannot hold tense. If you hold tense, then because the itself is a soft weapon, the soft weapon couldn't allow you to have a muscular. Okay, because you can use a muscular part against any other weapon. So you have to use a soft against hard. So when you walk, it has very, very relaxed. Very, very relaxed. And very smoothly. So like you're holding an egg. You cannot break it, and you don't want to lose it. Okay. All right. So when you do that, you understand. As long as you have a chi this side, this side will come out. 
Okay. So there are a few Tai Chi Sol Qigong exercises. Okay, put your salt down first. So you can get this a few Qigong exercise right. It's very, very relaxed. The first thing you just think about all the energy coming from the top and coming down. Okay. So it's very relaxed. Now in and face up. Both sides. And then come in here, then out. Push down to the chest. And then to your dancing. And to the bottom of the bottom well. So that's one cycle. So when you go down here, you feel just get very warm. If you concentrate, you can see, feel it. So this is all the chi exercise. You're taking all the chi from the universe. And very, very relaxed. Until your ni wan, ni wan gong is by way cavities. Then getting down. From here, you start sense the energy, very strong. Come to your wrist. Then coming down here, you start feel it. Then come to your palm. Until here, it's a fingertip. How many of you can sense that? What I'm talking to you can sense it. It's very, very amazing things. Because that's all the chi you move, that's why chi keep moving with you at the same time. Coming down. When you reach here, the chi is here, then going down to the bottom well. Okay. It's the same thing in the Urban Mountain. They have the same type of exercise by the use of palm. They use palm, they call Da Peng. Da Peng Bai Hui Guan Qi Gong. Bai Hui, this is Bai Hui. Okay, in the Tao, they call Ni Wan. Guan Qi, that's mean you punch the chi in from the heaven. The same thing, a lot of stars have this. So you get what? When you go like they feel, it's all relaxed. Because you can tense. When you tense, how can your chi circulate? So you cannot tense. It's all relaxed. So I try to feel again. I want you to feel when you're going up. When you're coming down here, the chi start going here very strong and coming down and going up until the fingertip. Okay. If you couldn't sense that kind of energy, then your soul will remain on forms. Okay. Inhale. So relax. Come face up. Until here, you're taking all the energy. Then start extra. Concentrate. Try to feel the chi flow now. On your arms. Coming down to the wrist, and get down, you can see the fingertip. At the same time, this side going down. Alright, that's the first form. You got to learn that. Every time you can, because it's good, Qigong exercise. It's very good for our house. Okay, after you finish it, the second one, without opening your hands, then go in sideways and turn. Then this one, train the chi evenly expand. Because when you practice so, when you get this hand, you get this hand at the same time, the chi will balance. So that's a the simple practice because this is your mind will be centered. When your mind is centered, both sides cheese expand. So without a saw, it'll be easy. Once you have a saw, one side is heavier than the other side, then it becomes harder. Okay. So we practice the saw secret, no saw at the beginning. Now inhale and exhale. When you exhale, it's easy, strong, expand. So strong. When you go so strong, you can feel it. Flow chi coming up here very strong. Now you can face it and sense it and inhale. Exhale. And again, inhale. You can concentrate the chi. Try to feel it. And up. So this is the second form. Relax. The third form is very easy. And in, and keep elbow down, and go down. And in, and out. Do not open your hands. Keep the same. You can feel it get warmer and warmer for those two fingers. The cheek keep coming up from the in. So relax. You inhale, then this hand up and this is down. So you can feel the cheese symmetry, one up and down from center. So the mind has to be centered, everything is centered and move. So every form do it about five to ten times. Okay, the next one, you in, 
They listen push down, listen go forward. The same time your body is coming. And moving. The same thing you repeat for 10, about 10 times. Do not open your hands. Do not open your hands. If you have a lot of chin on your hands, now relax. Do not open your hands. Try to feel it. See if your chin coming up here. Feel it. Keep moving. Feel it. Move this way. You can feel it on your face. You feel like the wind coming out here. You keep coming up, keep coming, very strong. So you get the feel. Once you feel out here, this uh, this place gets so warm, very warm. For the beginners, anyone you should feel this place warm. You might not be able to feel the chin coming out yet, but you should feel this place warm. And then you have to practice until more and more the chin start come out here. One one of the very famous instructor, a master in China in Taiwan called Yong Musen. I saw him one time perform. He, there's a candle there, he put the hands, there's a candle, flying fly over there with. That means his chi is so strong, here can generate the wings in front, make the, the candle frame of the hour. That's amazing, that time I saw it, I said, wow, how can you do that? So they can build up, you can build up here. When the chi can go up here, then the chi can reach to the sword. If the chi cannot reach the sword, how can you use the sword to listen to the enemies? To understand enemies' power? to neutralize his power. Because so you use the soft against heart. Soft itself is a defensive weapon. It's not an offensive weapon. But this defensive weapon, you have to use the soft against heart. You have to use the defense as offense. So those are fundamental exercise. I like you to try to get into it, all right? Then, the sword, once you get it, there are a few exercises you have to do. One thing I saw people perform a sword like this way. I saw it a couple times already. That's not good. What's this for? Protect your hands. Why you put it here so to lose the protection? I saw some Tai Chi style, especially nowadays in many channels who sue Tai Chi. I saw this one. I saw sand is doing it. And then you can chuck off, chuck, just chuck off very easy. Always, you can lose up here, but always behind. Just hang on. Okay, you hold it, it cannot be tense. Your pinky and the, this finger is not tense. You hold it tense, your body becomes stiff. This place becomes stagnant. The chi won't flow. You go like that, it can feel so smooth. The chi can flow any way you want. All right? Now after that, so I try to see, you can, your body movements, right? See the body. Now, watch it, okay? Now, let me use that thing because it has more experience. It came in with this one. See, this a, uh, you like direct and go there. So you have to do the same way. I come in. See, I, see my thoughts stick with things. Like that, you got it. So you get the neutral I do. And come in to my face. The I still got it. <laughs> because you understand now, I'm not attacking. If I'm attacking, you come in, you come in. You do a neutral. See that? Because you can chop this whole air high off. That's because I'm sick. I understand. I control his power. So watch it. So this is very important. This is move is a whole body movement. If his sword never gets to my head. So I come in. That's only very simple form. Once we touch it, once you saw it touch, you already know you are in defense or you are offense. That's what? That's a, exactly internal. You can feel internal. You stick with him. You find out he's in passive situation all the time. Okay. So Tai Chi saw after you learn the form, you have to learn matching set, matching forms. It's just like a Tai Chi pushing hands. When the Tai Chi pushing hands, you know how deep the person's internal is. The same thing, the soul, once you touch each other, you know how deep it can be. Okay. So this comes from the practice. It's not only the forms, it's from internal. So put your hands here. Then you turn. If you go like that, is it wrong or right? Can you intercept your enemy with this angle? Can. You understand? It's this angle. So if it is an enemy sword, you couldn't go this way. The sword itself can be flexible. It's dangerous. 
this way you have a strong. So you understand the sword itself, this one, three, three sections divided. These sections is very dark. You can use this one to intercept without hurting, without in, you know, damage your sword. Then this second part is sharp, but it's not very sharp. But every time you slide, you can cut in. The third one, every time you touch it, you cut it. This one is razor pressure. So that means this side, you cannot even touch your enemy's weapon. Every time you touch your enemy's weapon, this part will be ruined. So this second one third, you can slide. You can slide. This one third, you can use for fire and block without damage your sword. But you couldn't block this one. You got to block this one. You block this way. See, the sword itself responds. It's not good. Go this way. Very strong. All right. So the sword, that's only that. You have to understand one third point. The sword, if you pass the sword, you don't know what's one third. So you got trouble. Every time you intercept, it's one third. When you get one third, you can put your enemy in the loudest position. See, for example, they can attack me. That's one third. When I move, they cut their fingers. That's one third. Once I block it, the other side will attack. Okay, it come in. The same thing for this one. It's one third. When I move in, that's a tip. So it come in. That's one third. When I move down, when I cut up, the fingers up. That's this part. So everything one third is just set up for this part for cutting, for kill. So this one third is very important. So you practice sword, you know how to keep this one third. Then you have a secret. So that's a lot of sword hand form you have to learn. See like that. See this one third. So I'm gonna waste one third. Okay. So one third is one point you have to practice. When you move this one, it's one third. It's one third. So it's all relaxing. So you have to pack whenever you have practice those one third points. Okay. Then this one is different from Gawan. When you go to Gawan, it's become this way. You see the tip? The tip only a small circles. The ball side is only a small circles. The tip Gawan is going this way. Okay. So you get to understand all this theory, then you can be okay. But next one now, try go this one. See if you can get this one right. Two, three, four, and five. The hands is very important to when you get it, go straight forward. Go straight forward. Go straight forward. Go straight forward. See like this one, a lot of you still going this way. It's not. When you intercept, this angle you intercept. You slide. See, this angle, you couldn't go this way. Greg, no. No. <coughs> See. You're going this way. We couldn't even say that this way. So everything you need is doing this way. We did this way. Anything you want to do is cut. Okay? Anything you want to do, that's, a, that's all yours. But you couldn't go this way. And you gotta watch that. So then it's this angle. Okay. So you move and forward. Move and forward. You probably change that so right? Let me see how you intercept. <laughs> Please don't cut me. I won't cut you. You're going to be a father. If I cut you, I got to feed your babies. <laughs> All right, then try to get in. That's the, the form you have. Oh, oh, calm down, go slow. I won't get you. I won't get you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, that, you worry too much. If you, the more you worry, the worse you'll be. Now, one, two, three, four. See the boss, it's all body. Anything without body's movements, then the form is dead. Then cover, become flat. So when you use a sword to attack an enemy, this area, you can go either this way or this way. This way or this way or this way, this area. When you go to the ribs, it has to be this way. When you ribs, you go this way, you just won't get in. It's stuck by the bones. When you go to throw, it has to go this way. The throw, you won't go this way, you won't get in, you get stuck there. You want to go in to cut inside the, the bones. Okay. So you can know where you are doing. You turn, you have to go flat. Turn, you can go flat. Remember when I say flat, it's so important because you come in. That's how I stick with him. He said, you want to pull back? He cannot pull back. So you just get head off. You have to know how to neutralize it. 
<laughs> so that's very important. It's not only there are at least about six fundamental forms like Tai Chi pushing hands. Tai Chi pushing hands are eight, right? Eight fundamentals, eight, eight, eight corners. Only Ji An Tai Li Zhou Ka. Tai Chi sword is the same thing. How do you slide? How do you stick? Okay. So that's one. You have to do that. Second thing, turn this way. See, if anybody attack you here, the body is so important. The body is so important. Okay? So you turn, you can get in, then you get up. So it's very important you have to learn one third intercept with this area. One third. So the body is behind it. So you follow me this one. Okay, turn, turn up. You have this one in the uh, high resort, open grass to search for snack. Okay. It's right. a straight thrust. No, this one is sideways. Okay. It's seal. Open grass to search for snack. Think about name. Fo Chao Xun Se is open the, open the grass to search for snack. The, the, the grass is supposed to be long. You have to open up so you can see the snack. So what happened? You have to use this one push away. So that's why you seal, you seal enemy's weapon. Okay, so you come in, see, I seal his weapon. When you seal weapon, turn, that's all mine. Because seal is only a strategy. When the real strike is different. Okay, and also another thing I saw him did it the other day. When you do the phoenix open the wind. <laughs> so you change the hands. Always down. <laughs> that's why I say, there's uh, some secret, you gotta know the secret. He said, how come all the Taiji sword, all the sword, they got it this way, this way? And how come this one, we open it, we go this way instead of this way? Circle? No. When you're real five, this and you turn. The power. Then you. So the power becomes neutral this way. But if they hide, they don't hide this end. They hide on this end. So if you are expert, you look at this end, you know, oh, I see this one, how, can you, how much power you can get for this one to slide? You don't get too much, but when you turn, that's a lot of power. So when you open it, it's eventually it's supposed this way. But in the sequence, you go this way. But you are expert, you know the style, you say, oh, I know, it's in behind it. Okay, so don't change that. I'm sorry, uh, okay, so we're, in the sequence, we're going to be going... Yeah, it's, that's a this way. Okay, it's not this way. Okay. Yeah. Is that the only, only place? That's the only place. All other places is all the same. Because that's the thing I never explained it before. All right. Now let's try from beginning. Yeah, let me do it first until until where we're going to correct correct first, and then we will come to the second section. So in this case, you get an idea. Let's get to here first. <coughs> Remember, as I said yesterday, ever since bodies, you go like that, that's one thing. See? Ever since. Move internally. Go like that, that's body stay from your hands. Ever since body movements. You don't have to be exaggerating, but you can see you relax right now. In out. Chis and Dante. See two sides. 
to side elbow, line up. Very nice. Turn, palms up. Yeah. Circle. When we go to the cavity place, for the solar places, E is strong. E is very important. Intention is very important. So from here, this whole body. Right, it's very strong. When you see that one, you have a little E, then Chi will go. You remember, you have to use your E to lead the Chi. So you move, then Chi will go. Very strong. I see some style in the tournament. I don't see what's purpose for that. They go in here. Go this way. See, it's got solid places. Alright. Okay, from here, turn. Alright, when you get done, the power is going up, upwards. Open at the same time. Okay. Okay, try a few solid places. You push in here, how much power you can get in. Think about going upwards, how much power you need. So his angle is go this way for solar presses. Solar presses is very important because it's a heart. If you attack here, solar presses attack the pericariums and also your heart at the same time. So that's why you go in this way. You can let people punch you this way. But we go like that for this area, then you get trouble. Okay. So this angle is going down. So when you move down, that's it. Now step forward, jump back, straight, until so straight, completely straight. It's not going halfway, completely straight. Okay, and people say, what is this for? A lot of times you understand, the best strategy for a saw technique is without blocking. You don't even want to touch enemy saw, you can get him. Like he attacked me, now, pah, I go in, see, the, the hands got out already. I don't even worry about that. You know what I'm saying? In a good strategy, in Chinese strategy, you want to kill a general, you kill his four horse first. You understand? Horse is so easy. So as a good general on a horseback, the weapon you need is not protect yourself, you protect your horse. But a lot of time, you put your, your person in the, in, in the danger, then you can take the horse. Once you kill the horse, then you, you almost kill him, you kill him halfway already. The same thing for the sword. When you press it, why have to go to the body? When I can go to hands so easy, when I get the hands, then he's dead. He's equivalent dead. Then why you have to worry about that? So you understand, it's very important. So the same thing for this one. When you got it back here, he come in. Wow, just, just uh, go to the leg immediately. That's the power. So you say, a lot of techniques, when you do the bare hand, a lot of time, you have to block, then you can defend, then you can attack. In the sword, a lot of time, you don't even block, you just go in. So when you cut the back, where you cut? Tendons, remember, tendons. It's not cut a muscle. If you cut a muscle, you won't hurt him too much. If you cut a tendon, just halfway cut, you got trouble. Because tendon is the way you control your leg. So you have to know which area. You cut here or here. It's not here. Say, oh, here it's got more meat. So what, you can eat it. <laughs> go here, tendons. Okay. So when you cut it, I saw a lot of it go this way. That means, if I cut here, that means I'm so danger. I'm in myself in the danger. Why should I put myself in danger? Why I can go this way? My soul can get him, he couldn't get me that easy. So don't get in there only unnecessary. You have to take advantage of the, the range. The range is this part, is the most dangerous for your enemy. It's safer for you. Why you want to put your range in this place? You are also danger. Okay. So when you get here, pick it up, cut back, until it's almost straight, then back, then get back here. See, this is a pure E training. It's the fingers and the saw tip, all aim is to stir eyes here. Okay, it's very important. It's a, when you fight against enemy, you are not fighting against the physical power. You fight against the first spirit. What do you think if I go like that? When I go like that, he feel the soul is always aiming here. What do you feel that? Have you ever have a feeling when you are walking, you study, then there's a knife hanging on top of you? Even you know it's not going to drop, when you study, your mind is always there. 
That's exactly the same thing. So when they move up here, say, so where should I point? This was exactly a point you're here. This one is exactly point here. When I get here, your mind is over here. How can you set up a strategy? So it's very really important to say, well, I do this. You gotta have a purpose for that. So in this case, you know what's internal. Okay. All right. When you get down here, get down, stabilize yourself first. Then the whole body, see your body is twisted. Then the thing can keep you out. If you don't do it right, a lot of you, that's not jing. The jing, you see, is jerked, then boom, coming out. Go to the head, the neck. All right, when you go here, this place is exposed. That's exactly the enemy got me. So that's why you have to neutralize yourself. So all those things you have to understand. You knew, see, when I get here, the soul is already got here. Neutralize yourself, then get in. Right. So you come in, see, when I neutralize, that's when I get in, just exactly, slide over in. Okay, so from here. Then this place exposed. Up, neutralize. Then go to the waist again. Right? Okay, move back a little bit. Okay, there's one more form. This is chief stop. We go here. Your face exposed. So, how you move? That's press, you attack it. How you move? No. <laughs> no. Right. You have to, yeah, you have to move. That doesn't get it. <clears throat> yeah, so, it's so, this one is so cross. So, you come in. Listen. So you still, you don't want to go here and cut it, you can't, because this one you don't slide. But you don't want to stop here because this one just chop you. So the time is become so important. When I get him, when I can take this sword, leave my sword, when I cannot let him go. If I go in like that, I get trouble. Because I don't even get enough power to get there. If I go like that, I try to get in, he cut me, my head off. See, when I put the time in right, he got no choice. It's there. All right? Then the hands, this kind of short range, every time in the short range fight in the tight in the sword. Every time in the sword. This hand always here. What they for? Because every time in the short range, I mean, in the short range, this is the one. Anytime I can, I go in. That's a short range. Because you understand when you fight, it's not only hands fighting. Your sword, sword and hand both are fighting. When you get to short range, this hand is here. Anytime you attack, that's all there and there. All right. All these things, because in the sequence there are a couple of phrases. Okay. All these things is all the capital strike. Okay. Now there's a try again from the beginning. All those things try to you can get right now. Did you understand you saw too? You know. Okay. The hand is a little bit low. Very low. In. So relax, both sides. Get down until Dantian. See, Chi Chen Dantian. If you saw, didn't go down to the Dantian. Yeah, Dan Dantian. There we go. Down. See the body. This whole body is power going out. It's not only your hands. Left hand nature drop down. Left hand nature drop down. Okay. Nature drop down. So relax. Turn. And left hand intercept. Intercept. Intercept, you have to use this for intercept. If you go like that, I still cut this. Yeah, like that. Intercept. Okay, then down. Go to the back. Left arm straight. Very relaxed. Step forward. Pick it up. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Right arm bent, don't get straight. Now, Yan Zi Chao Sui, the swallow sees the water. So, your Lan Sao, left and the right, side cut. Your Lan Sao, Zhou Lan Sao, left, side cut. The left hand, Xiao Kui Jing, 
little chip star. Remember, protect your face first. Going very relaxed. Now, back. Fan Shen Qin Yuan. Turn the back to see the ape. Okay. The sword is go to Dan Kim. Go straight. Go straight. Why? So you look at my forms, okay? When I get here, look at my... See, everything, every forms, if your king cannot come out, then you're wrong. See the, how smooth it can be. So when you come here, this. But if you go, then that's not. It's how it everything is that connected. One and two is connected. The whole body. Okay, try again. Turn and down. Go stabilize yourself. Ning Mao Bu Su, spread your cat. Catch the mouse. Up, turn. The hand is not enough. Yeah, I need to get in. Just try again from here. Up. Up. Ning Mao Bu Su. Now, Qingqing Dian Sui, Dragon Fry, Touch the Water, Up again. Still there? Still down, still the same place. Okay. Turn, and turn. Fang Feng Dong Dong, turn your hip. Okay, this form becomes so important, a lot you didn't get it right. So this form, you get in here, you turn, let's go to the neck. So the, the angle, you get here, see that's the angle. You don't want a lot to go this way. The, it's so important. The angle is the enemy here. You walk here. It's not walk there. See, that's, a, that's what I want, only this part. Okay, try again from here. Turn and turn. And from here, Fang Dong Lu Dong, ELB enter the nest. You turn, use the call. Use the saw. It's different theory from bare hand. Bare hand, use the heel. Use the heel. Tight use the toe because aim is long range. You don't have to worry about this one. You worry about your speed. You don't worry about your loot as much. So you have to be fast. So we get here. Turn. Let's use outside to block. Use outside to block. Okay, let's be special against the long weapon. The thing about now is there's a spear there. Okay, there's a spear. We turn. There's a bounce, then you go in. Try now, from, from here. Turn. Then you And turn. All right. The body straight, don't lean either side. Okay, until there, give it five minutes, okay? So go over very quick and get idea. So anytime, same time. And your hip. Very, very fast. And as I say, always just the, the end point you turn, you know, to cut. From here, Gawan. Yo Xun Feng. One, two, the three, then up, Xiao Feixing, then back, one, two, the three. So what you do, guard is very simple. If he try to attack me, see that, that's why you get in, that's why you get in. Okay. So whenever he attack, you try and go to the hands, it's guard one, this way. So you attack, it's so fast, just cut the hands, the wrist only, go from here, then. One, and two, and three. And up. The back is one, and two, and three. Slide away. Then go to the dungeon, the Lu Si. Or until here, you can get it. Oh, those the angle strong. Yeah. That's the enemy get you. So that's a one third, exactly where one third intercept. Then slide down. Four chao 
you push away the grass and up again one third intercept also she said third second time again three time it's not this way when you see all the enemy's weapon like you see the wave enemy's weapon you don't see all this way you see all this way and you see that you file in you file at the same time you get in it's not go this in you file so you, you, you file in the angle has to be right okay let's try again from here one two the hand up why why the first one hand is here the second hand is here walking out no you don't block out the beard the saw is here already you still him circle and cheat circle and cheat is right but how come the first one we don't you got it circle here <laughs> <laughs> all right you come in if you got in here this hand is here oh. if i come in here what is this hand well i use it for the cheat oh. <laughs> <laughs> trick question okay again one and two three all right from here expose again intercept I don't bow you the sword you didn't go this way you go this way down then up song now send the bird to the woods all right down Ulong by way black dragon with the tail down at the length Feng Sao De Ye the wind blow the photos leaf one the hand turn two okay I do that one more time from here then we see up both out she said open the grass search for snack three remember the waist everything is waist turn up send the birds to wood one more time when you have chance, every time you start, it's, it's holding his body movement until you get used to that part. One, one, and two, and three, send all the moon to the chest, send the bird to the Up. See this one, when you come here, all the moon to the chest. This one we strike, it's going. But you understand? We we'll strike, we we'll strike. A move. If I go here, or I go somewhere else. I don't follow it. This way is not this way. If it is this way, it block easy. But I go this way, then you can block if he can use himself against him. So that's why the sword becomes this way. Okay, try again. So I found. Um, where we get? All right, from there. Down, up, one, and two, and three. Huai Zhong Bao Yue, all the moon to the chest, and Song Yao Sang Yi, and down. Very relaxed. The hands. Okay. Straight. Straight. There's a cut to the leg. Cut to the leg. So you come in. Cut to the leg. Okay. Up, go to the left. Okay. And the head exposed. Turn, slide the weapons, go to the neck. Hong Jun Ke Yue. One and two. Okay. The wind blows lotus leaf. It's all, every time you drop, it's at this angle. Don't get this angle. You slide, go in. Slide, go in. Okay. Alright, so you can get that part. <coughs> You didn't saw from me, you didn't stand that gym. That's the way I teach you. No, no, no. Huh? Yeah. I just saw you pick it up like that. It's a mirage. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> An afternoon mirage. <laughs> if I did that, you know what my master would do to me? It's my cheat. Show us, show us oh. what, show us what he do. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. He's <laughs> shaming you, you will shame me. Calm down. <laughs> Okay, from here. Up, down. See, this is very strong cheese. Go. 
Up. Up. Then this one is slide. See the power? <coughs> slide. Slide. Then up. See the body? Five. Right. Down. Up. Turn. One and two. All right. Next one. Call a shake ahead. Sixty auto. I don't see you right. Watch. Follow my sword first. It's a eight. Flat eight. It's not sideways. Come in. Together. That's why get in. If I go like that, it's not sticky. I don't have a chance. Because when I move, you move with me. I cut him, cut me. But if I stick down, I cut him, it's behind me. See? This. So it's eight. Suzu Yoko is eight. Have you ever seen the lion? The lion don't go this way. He go. Okay? You gotta watch out that point. From here, he turn. One, and two, and three, and four, and five. See, like the, the lion. The head can change it. Anyway. <laughs> the leg can move as much as you can. The leg, I, I move. The most important is the hand. Other thing is the spray. Okay. Continue, don't stop. You stop. No, you still stop. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then hold. You jump. Turn. Get the forward, don't help. Chop the head. Nanzen, hold here. Try again. Okay, from here. Turn. One, two, three, four, five. And slide in. You go here, it's false here. So slide in. You jump. Turn. Chop the head. Down. The hand. Yeah. Is this going to strike to the solar plexus? Or is that. No. no. Chop the head. Let's go. I got this spot. Or you can go this part anyway. It's the boom, it's the block. Yeah, the block, and then right. But like, for example, long way, like the spear. <laughs> so the hands don't go this way. That's the hands. Okay. See that the hands? Okay. You go like that. It's all smooth. Everything's one. You don't go like that. That's that. Then up. See, you go here, that's the empty, come here, okay, you. See, that's up, see. When I get here, you attack me. That's up, go to the center. That's up. So, they call Yin Fong Hansen, form the wind to clean the dust. So that's the dust, the wind draw here, you want to clean the dust. Seal. So that's the thing. You seal for the tech. So from here. Up, push forward. Push forward, seal him here. So okay. it's close, so it's not no cut. You just see it here, yeah. It's not cutting, it's seal, the attack is left hand. One, two, three. Yeah. It don't even have a big form, it's not. It's just neutral, I want to get in. You want to go out, then get in, it's soft. You seal, you get in, seal, get in, seal, get in. Okay. So from here, turn, see the, yeah, form the stream. Push the ball. Sun Sui, Tui Zhou. Looks good. Alright, so this one you see. When you get here, he attack here. See, that's why you come in, that's why the leg. One, this hand is so important. Okay, so this hand you slide. So this is not to get in. Alright, so follow the hands. You get here, the third one. You turn and turn. See the hands? Yeah. Now, from this side. I try again. From here. Done. And 
Ab. Nein. Tön. No, you get through circle. There's only one circle. Watch it. Get here. Wrist. One circle. Wrist. Yeah. Okay. So out. Pick up the curtain. Up. So pick up the curtain. You know curtain, the dress down. So pick up the curtain. You don't want the curtain separate from your stick. So you pick up the curtain. See, that's it. You don't want to go like that. You know, you know a curtain, drop it. So you stick the sword. Stick your enemy's sword. So you stick with the sword. You stick with the sword. Pick up the curtain. Remember the name. You know the curtain drag down, you pick it up. So if you move back, you drop it. So pick up the curtain. Okay, so from here. One, and two, and up. So you're turning again. Turn, then throw. Slide, and chop. Okay, I'm doing it. Okay, One more time to finish it. Wrist again. Yeah. Then the leg, side, and then slide, attack. And chop. Down. Okay, challenge is to pick up the curtain. The sword tip don't move too much. Up. So you're turning again. From here, see my hand already changed. When I get here, see? See how I change it? You go here, it's not go this way. See my hand twisted. You go here. See that? Yeah, all right, just come on here again. One and two. Three, you get back. Back. Swing, yeah, this is our swing. It's not developing. Step forward, relax. This hand. Turn. Yes, half turn. See, they both explore so you Turn. This one you can move back or you can go forward. If you go forward, if you move down, let's go to solar press it. You can go backwards or forward, that's the enemy. Anyway. So you get in. Okay. If it is at so far away, you want to go in. Use this part slide. So from here. Okay. You turn. Then you turn, uh, sink. Then Phoenix open the wing. Okay. The next one, so your pattern, right, left and right, step cross. Okay. That one, you gotta watch out. The leg is pretty, people never feel confused with the left and right cut. Okay. It's not. So, okay, we go here. So I come in. Yeah. Alright, come in again. The leg, just pick it up, get away. Yeah. So that's the leg. So from, from me. From me, from here. One. See, that's the soul. Up. One. Out. Then B. Say push it. Any waist one. You go to the in shape. So like this. You go in. And here, one more time. From, 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 
Kirche. So you cannot be stiff. You have to be a little soft. 
That's the is the hard part. Because when you put your hand, once you get tensed up, then your enemy will find your center immediately. Then buzz you off. Okay, but of course the position we have now in the competition is not one you can use for fighting. Can you walk on the street and say, okay, let's push your hands. People try to fight you, say, okay, let's push your hands. <laughs> this is not going to happen. So the pushing hand now is competition. It's more like for training the criteria required for the pushing hand to sparring. So you understand, the pushing hand you have now is not for sparring. It's not sparring, but it's for sparring. So don't get me to understand. So people say, okay, I can push your hand very good, but you go to street fight, people still kill you easy. Unless you learn how to do the same. But the all you train is applied for defense. There's no doubt of it. But probably say, how do you intercept in order to get that position? Okay. For example, okay, I let me use yeah. Push your hand has to stick in the ear. You have to touch. If you don't touch, you don't understand, you don't listen. They say, how can I do that? So for example, like he punched me, like I say, oh, I want to stuck with you, you can. So you have to learn how to intercept. So intercept, very easy that I already intercept. When I intercept, I already got him and bounce him. Because you already know that. So when Tai Chi fight, it's still very fast. Like he punched, again, still, I don't even, I just central. Okay. It's not even that, I can go, this is, my hands all stick with him. See, that's an intercept, that's the hardest part in the pushing hands. Because when you have, you have a pushing hand competition, what you do? All right. <coughs> first. But this thing know what I meant, right? If you start here, then you have a hard time to get in. So that's the part that's missing. So in the future, once you try to miss pushing hand a lot, then you don't know how to intercept. Okay. In my school, the students, they learn three, four years of pushing hand. They go to sparring with the Tai Chi, with the Shaolin students. <laughs> OK, thank you. If you keep telling me, say, okay, Tai Chi is good for martial arts, then you could even defend against Shaolin. It's not good art. So you should be able to defend against any star. Okay. So, so far we started with pushing hand, but you understand that's only for competition purpose. But everything is for very important. So push your hand, you understand, there are eight things most important in the push hand. Peng, Li, Ji, An, Cai, Li, Zhou, Ka. Eight elements. Peng, wall off. Roll back, press, push, tie, block, lead, rain, zhou, elbow stop, and shoulder stop. Those eight keep mixing together. Okay, when we get to, when we're doing the course of the kitchen, when we get to the point, how did you know? Because now, I can tell you that you don't get absorbed, you don't understand. When we go to the situation, I tell you, what's that? All right, so it's important now. So in the push your hand exercise, today we start to emphasize only steady push your hand. Your body, that's the center. This is center body. So center body is most important. So in the pushing hand or in Tai Chi practice, the most important we call center under balance. Center allows me balance. Right. People say center is a balance. No, center is not balance. You have to have a center first, then you can have balance. So this center balance, let's punch. Includes both physical and plus mind. Okay, you have to read this. So that's exactly how you train if you know how to set that balance. So the first thing, set that balance is so important. So in Tai Chi, they have a very common practice. That's the one I like uh, the people in the future you want to join the pushing hand. You got to practice every day. Practice is so easy, it's not hard. Okay. You get someone to push you. See your center. Okay. Let me use this guy because I just know him to check in with him. <laughs> <laughs> it's so simple. The body has to be center. You know what's key is called the head suspended. Remember that was the head is suspended. So now head head is suspended from here and going down to your dante and going down to this well. So your body go like that. You lean forward. Go like that. That's not good. All right. So it's because you saw this one a lot. You just go this way and then. Both in. Then push. Push it through against my center. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you see, you can let it go. I can let it go. If I let it go, his body loses. Doesn't lose the center. If you let it go, I still stay like that. Then I have center. 
Right. So we now use that. It's very simple, easy idea. But let's my body, my leg here, my hands here. He pushed me. He pushed me, so his mind should be in my center. But when I against him, he pushed my me here. Even my mind is here to against him, I get trouble because he find me. So when you push me, my mind is here. I don't understand. When you push your car, where's your mind? Your mind is on the hands. You find the car is very weak. But when you push your car, you find if you put your mind on the back feet, you find it's very strong forward. Because that's exactly action reaction force. Okay. So when you push me, so when you push me, watch it, watch you push me. Push. Okay. So you push me, if I his body lands a bit backwards. It's just only forward. That's me, he doesn't have balance. But I have balance. My mind is the same. So in the pushing, thank you. In the pushing, that's exactly what you deal with it. How do you destroy your enemy's center and balance? He lose his balance at the center. He moves, then he lost. Okay, that's a competition. But in the real situation, we're fighting. That's different. Real situation, once he moves, then your mind is in your stability. Then I get a chance to attack you, to kill you. Okay? <laughs> so that's a center and balance. You can practice so easy against the wall. You say, okay, I don't have people fighting with me. That's fine. Push this building down. You concentrate, think about here and think about here. If you read my book, this book, inside there's a one sentence I put there. If you can catch the key of a cheap balance, cheap balance, then you'll be great. Then you'll be okay. You know what I mean, the cheap balance? The forward and backwards has to be the same power. When you expand here, you expand here, it's the same. If you expand here a lot stronger than this side, you're going to lean forward. It's strong on this side, this side to this side, then you're going to backwards. So when you try that, that's exactly what you pray. Alright? Then from that time of centering, then your body learns how to balance yourself. The balance itself, that's another type. That's why I want you to go into, especially in the if you are in pushing hands. So this one we call center. The other way balance. Okay. I think another guy. Now you're here too. I want a strong one. <laughs> yeah, you have this one before, right? You have this one practice so when you are kids, right? When you, you go this way, and then you get me off, I get you off. Like this got off, now you can get me off. If I relax, you couldn't find me. <laughs> because in intense, I find centered. So you understand, the key is very simple. When you get soft, if I have a whip here, you touch the end of the whip, can you find me this side? You cannot. If I have a stick, you touch the iron, you find me this side. That's exactly how you want. You want to be so soft. All right. When the jing come out, the whole whip become like a stick, like a staff. When the jing come out, it's on the then power come out when you relax. All right. If you catch that idea, it's so easy, see. You can't get me, now relax. It's too tense. Give me up. What thing? <laughs> you got long, long arms, right? <laughs> but it's still pretty, pretty hard for him because it gets so tense. It's not. It's not relaxed. Okay. Let me get it. There. Let me see. You got to be pretty soft. <laughs> <laughs> See, you, you, you try to sense, I'm telling you sense is important. When I sense him, his center is here. When I push him with him, I my center is there. When we got here, my center is so low. His center is here. So the first thing we push him with someone, sense where's the center, how high he is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Then my hand is not longer than this hand. Usually, your long arms take advantage. What I do, I just play soft with your hand. Okay. Then that's exactly the which hand you move like that, you lose. So that's the second thing you're watching. How to get balance. The third one, so in this case, when you want to destroy your enemy center and balance, you have to learn how to destroy. Okay, so today we don't talk about uh, single pushing hand, double pushing hand. Single pushing hand, double pushing hand, that one can go very detailed, but it can be very fundamental. But that one we can talk forever, and then we get to the key. Today we're talking about the key. How do you protect this place? Okay, so the one, if I am a taking guy, I have the trend called growing gene. Growing. Like a tree, keep growing. If I am the one in defense, I have to learn. Growing, that's me. I try to attack this enemy. I try to attack him. How do I get his center? How get his center? If you are the defending side, you try to learn is how do you neutralize my power? Keep away. Okay? Let me, so we were going to get in this one first because this will take my while. Once I only defend, the other side is the attack. See, now I try to, he tried to get me off. It's, no, one hand. So he only defends. So you have to learn. Okay. And if you can, anything, you try to neutralize. I try to find center. He tried to avoid me find center. If I can get him so easy, find his center, then let me. In the push hand, he got trouble. Because every time in push hand, once I touch, he's in defending. How can his mind worry about his center all the time? He tried to attack me. Yeah, he can. But when I get here, now his body, the mind is full. Okay, he's trying to get me. He's trying to get me. Don't find center, no, don't grab. This okay. one, yeah, this one, grab is cheating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just try to see, find my center. Find my center. Okay, I try to play a trick. You try to get me. Get my center. He's not taking my center. Where's my center? Here. So you're, you're, when I get here, you always push here. When I get here, always get me, always come. Always towards. The, your chin is growing. From here, keep grow. When my chin keep grow, keep grow, keep grow, until, until there you're urgent. I bounce you. It's grow. The other side, you keep neutralizing. It's trying to neutralize. See, if I sense it, if you get my sense, I try to redirect it. By feeling, that's called listening and understanding. All right, that's the easy part. That's the easy part. Then after you get that, you're gonna spend a lot of time for that. After that, we go to elbow. Elbow, that means your defending circle come from large one to medium one. That's all of them. So when I get here, probably you got not too much chance because here it's so, so easy. Get this hand. Like that, it's already tense. It's already tense. I can sense it very, very fast. So in the pushing hand, every time, so when I push hand with him, so anytime I stick there, you get trouble. Every time I touch here, you get trouble already. So in the pushing hand, it's not only you try to avoid your enemy, get you lucky. Let's come from coiling, come from all the nudging training. You, oh, not only that, you have to defend or attack the center. But when you go to the elbow, you get trouble. So I can try to get my elbow. This side is easy. Yeah. Push me off. You cannot find my center. When I sense it, I won't even let him get to my center. <laughs> yeah, so more and more. See, you don't take too long. More and more you practice a while. Then you start catching the tweet. Don't you understand? You understand? There's a the speedball you punch once I hang on top, once I'm on the bottom. You try to push it. You start pushing like that, you go away. That's your enemy. 
But if I said, well, if I, hey, I can push it. If I know I have to direct the center. And until I can push it, I can find it very far away. That's exactly. You are searching the center. And the one you're defending, you strike it out. That's the second one. Here is other. And after that, you can go to shoulder. Yeah. This is even all. Because a lot of time once you push in with someone, you're stuck here, what do you do? Because this one and the center is so close, you find it so easy. You find it so easy. So it is not easy when you try to defend it. So this one is for me, I have an advantage, not for him. So that's why in the push hand, anytime I stick, yeah, I want to get in there, then he got trouble. Because I find the center, you can neutralize, it's easy. So let me see. The, the closer you can walk going until the center, the more advantage you have. Okay? So the same thing. It's like get me. So you gotta use a lot of tension, right? But see if I can deal with him like that, and he can't find me. Because in this case, that means his mind is in attacking. You understand? If his mind is attacking, then I can attack him. So this kind of a practice it comes until it's natural. When people touch you, it becomes so natural. Let's go to the deep one. The four steps for we call neutralization training, or centering training, is the body neutralized. That's very hard, very hard. <coughs> The hand touch the chest. All right. <coughs> no, no, you. You are attacking now. You are defending now. See. That's your body. Use the body to neutralize. This is hard. It's not easy. So you got me. <laughs> push me off. What? See the trick. You push it. Let's see that how. When I move like that, you lose the center. See, he might come in, I move down. They cannot find my center. Because it's so close. Here there he pushed, this is my center. It's so close. You have to deal with him all the time. So don't let him find your center. <laughs> so that's how you learn from outside inside. So in the push hand, if you catch those four, the first one, you already catch the key for defending. Then you can grow to find your enemy center. You catch the key of okay. attack. Okay. So the first thing I want you to really try for that. Okay. So we're gonna kill that the first half one and one half hour. And after we come back, we go deeper for both hands sticking. Okay. But begin now. Try to sit back. Let me do the first part of height. Because both of you want to tight too. It's not that easy to feel. But the same thing, I went to Winchester to to join the tournament. I met Chen Xiaowang there. I saw Chen Xiaowang team several times. I, I was not quite impressed for the team. But when I saw him performing Winchester, he is good. Because you can feel outside forms how much you can go. You reach there, you with internal, we without internal. Just reach there, you couldn't tell a difference from the tape. But once they really perform, it's different, completely different. So you can see, now a lot of your practice tight, your practice tight so the body inside doesn't move. It's only hands. For example, you can move like that, the body's dead. Move like that, the body coil with it. Try to see the part. Don't do the first part, and save time. But I want you to correct your directions, get deeper to the center of the body.
was not quite good because uh, after pushing a little bit, the mind is not as calm. But try to point out if the body is the center of your gene. If, you don't, if any form is found, the gene cannot come from center, then you're wrong. Okay, for example, you can go like that. You know, try to see. See the body. Then you're right. Like that. If you don't have then what how your power come from? Come from center. See the that one without center. That's a hand. This one's hand. You lose that. See the Come in again for this one. For this one, that's a, the body. See the body tense. That, that's not right. See the body. Then the powers come automatically from the center. You go like that. That's not good. Then this, the center, everything comes from center. Then you can feel it. Once you feel that, then it becomes good. All right, now stand up. Let's do some. Um, Okay, move forward. The leg here, don't move. Here, don't spray on the fingers. I'm talking about cheese size. So in order to get that, all the movements, you have to start from here. For example, when I move here, the mind is here, and getting the chi out. So the body has to be connected. Okay. So squat down. See the mind. This area, I move. Only this area. You can so feel so relaxed. This area is very, very good. I've been circling about 10 times for even some. You can feel inside get a flow of energy keeps circling with your motion. Therefore, you have to do that. Because this part allows you to tense up. When you are tense here, because where the gene come from? Gene generated from your leg, directed by your waist. And it's placed on your hands. So when you get here to here, this part gets stuck. The energy gets stuck here, all the things stuck here. You are simply this part tense. When this part is tense, almost like uh, you have a whip. Between the whip, you have a piece of a stick there. The power has been cut down. So try to move. So relax. Until you can move and feel it. The beginning is not easy. And more and more, now you can move it. And the other side, circle the other side. All right. So that's the first thing. I don't see too many of you can get it. It's not easy. Because there's a muscle. You understand this muscle here? You have not used it for a long time. You can use it to make inside move. If this part can make it move this way and also this way, then this area that you, with entire body, the first one you said, you regulate your body. You regulate your body, so every part of your body has to be relaxed. If you cannot use your mind to make this part move, how can you make it relax? If your mind cannot move, make this part move, how can your mind lead the chi from there to other places? So the first thing you said, how can I make myself relax? Your mind has to be able to communicate with your physical body. It's not only from outside. Outside is the skin, you have to communicate with muscle, then you have to communicate with organs. You reach the levels, then your chi become internal, very internal. So that's the first steps. This one is not come from me. It comes from Joe Shu. Last time I learned when I came here for tournament. <laughs> I was teaching China one side, he was teaching that and the other side. He said, wow, that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> and I went back and practiced. I didn't join the seminar, I still uh, now that I keep practicing. If I could make it, you can make it. And make me much easier, much softer. Instead of center. Okay. See, this part don't move. It's only here. Circle one side, ten times. After you circle ten times, you just start walking down. Okay, if someone is stuck here, you know. Then the other side, ten times. Simply come from this muscle. Alright? 
That's the first one. You can practice myself a lot. Second one, try to make this part move. Cycle this way. See my hand, close my hand. Yeah, somebody did really good. Right? That's a, you lose that from the center. Let's warm up. After you get here and you get here, let's see my body go to the chest. So from here, then go to the chest. That's exactly where the power comes from, from here to here. So your whole body move, not only your hands. When you practice Tai Chi, when you push hands, this whole body move. See my chest, how I arc. The key words in Tai Chi is poetry, try reading. Arc your chest, arc your with all your chest, up your back. So relax. You go like that. That's exactly right. Alright? You cannot tense up your muscle at the same time as you do better. Because lose, you lose one of the basic principles of the Tai Chi training. Relaxation. But you got to relax at the same time moving. So I can feel so relaxed. And you can feel chi from here coming here. From here, they start coming here and come up from here. And now, on your shoulder. <coughs> Is it easy? It's not easy. Alright, now, try to get here until your the hand, to your body. See, from here. Relax. Hey, that's good. Breathe. From here, it's all connected. See, it's use your body. It's not the hand move, a lot of these do. The body move and the hand cover it. It's not, it's from here, like the whip. This side is the hand, is here. Then the other side of the whip, you cannot move it. So it's from here, come from the hand. Then it's connected. So that's why when you push your hand, when you find the everything directly from the center. Right, so it becomes so smooth. Inhale, exhale. The tongue touch your roof of your mouth. In, out. In and out. In, in. So you really get the body movement. That's really good. So the body is so soft. If you find the side, you will not make the body soft. Then inside, just get nothing. All right. Now one side. The same thing from here. Put one hand here so you can sense it. Start from here. See. Move. So easy. The body is still centered. Don't lean. See, there's a cover. From here. You don't go here. That's the intercept your enemy. It's the enemy still. Cover. Right. Body so relaxed. I think before you do push your hands, or you try to exercise. Do this from here, here, here. So you can start feeling from here, here to become transparent. And because so far when I see you do the sword, I find out here, here, still a big piece there, but all the hands move very smoothly. But this part is missing. You can get this part from moving this part, the sword, everything is from Then the chief is starting to go from this side. That's all the criteria from the judge they are looking. If your body is stiff, that is not good. Okay. Now, say, okay, how do we get a balance? So easy now. Everybody just follow me for a pushing. 
You think about you push a car, and when you really think about you push a car. So when you push, the mind don't think about forward, think about backward. And see how when you feel, how many you, and when you tell me, will you think about the backwards and push it, and you try to sense if you get this place get warm or not. All right, try it now. Inhale, and push. Exactly. Very slow, yeah. Inhale, the body is in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. How many of you, when you push, you feel this place not warm? That's exactly your mind. You understand? This afternoon, we're going to talk about Qigong. We're going to talk about a lot of this kind of idea. Why Qigong can make bring your health? Theoretically, scientifically. How can you internal us? Use the chi to defend against anything. There are two things you have to understand. Your brain. You never use your brain over 33 percent, unless you are some genius. Einstein used about brain about 42 percent. That's two years ago report. Then if you don't use a straight brain over 33 percent, the other 67 percent you are wasted. Because like a big computer, you have a big memory there, you're not using it. That's exactly your body, your brain. This is a scientific report, you don't come from me. Because they can easily test your brain cell. When your brain cell has been used, energized, has been used, they have a chemical way now, or electric way to test it. If this one has been energized, this cell has been energized. They find out the human brain is mostly about 33% for normal people. That's exactly what the Tai Chi do. I want to raise up this 33% to higher. What do you think? If I can go this one to 35%, even 40%, I can use this brain to direct my chi strongly than other people. You understand? It's very important. You have to use your mind to direct the chi. You lose that point, you're not going to get anything in Tai Chi. How do I lift this up? How do I lift this up? Think about that. A general idea. So this idea, my idea, will lead the chi, or lead the energy. Now that they call it by electricity. When the generalist idea, the brain will give the order, the electricity come here to energize the muscle and make contraction and pick it up. All right? You understand, it's come from my mind. So if I can move my mind higher than 33%, then I can use this mind stronger to energize, to direct more chi to the muscles. But you understand, muscle itself is dead. Muscle is not alive. Unless you have energy there to make it alive. You understand, the dead body is dead. It's got all muscles. But it cannot move because of no energy, no internal energy. But you are alive because you have internal energy. Your brain still functions. So that's a big difference. So your, your, your muscle, you use only about 40%. Regularly, people use 40% of muscles. The reason is not they cannot use higher. They can. They can do that. The problem is see, the mind is not strong high enough to use more, direct more chi to energize muscles for use. So that's why it's internal arts. Internal arts, what they do, the first way they have to concentrate. They learn how to concentrate. When you learn to concentrate, then you can lead the chi, more energy there to make these muscles energize to high efficiency. I can increase from 40% to 50%. Have you ever seen that all people are very old? Uh, 18, 19 years old. He said, how come he's so old? He doesn't have muscle. He cannot push him at all. He cannot even move him, but he's so strong. He cannot even touch him. They say, what happened? The old man doesn't have muscles. The problem is he had this one. He has mind. His mind is so strong, he can energize muscle much higher than you can. So his muscle becomes so efficient, he can bounce you off easy. But you have to do hard work. He can